Hey guys, welcome to the round of eight of Chobo League in BSL. This is going to be Snipe in the bottom left. This is on Sylphid, by the way. Three player map. Got the out of their spawn up here. Three player map. Snipe, bottom left hand corner is the green Protoss, bottom right hand corner. We have Mighty as the red Terran. I don't know much about Mighty. I do know that he is a Canadian pro, uh, Terran player. I know Laser Snipe, and I believe this is Laser Snipe. He helps a lot with CPL and general stuff in the StarCraft community. By the way, if you are a new or aspiring player, want to learn Brood War, that is the place to do it. Uh, just be sure that you have time <laughs> open to do it, uh, to get the coaching that's there. I'm hoping to, sometime in the future, have some time shoveled out, maybe in between BSL stuff, once everything's casted, theoretically, that'll be a time. I will go back and do CPL stuff, because I am not a great player myself, and would like to learn more and get better with mechanics and whatnot. Part of my issue is, is I just, like, this is to relax for me. StarCraft training is not relaxing for me, uh, and I need to, yeah, improve my general mechanics, especially because I've been wanting to use this new keyboard I built. Look up an Ergodox. I built one of those. Uh, they're fun. Anyway, some people in chat previously, it was toward the end of the last video. I'll let everybody know again. If you want to watch these live on Twitch, I'm casting Tuesdays and Thursdays. So Tuesdays, uh, basically a little bit later, usually 9.30, 10. It was usually 10 o'clock at earliest. And then Thursdays tends to be a little bit earlier, sometimes as early as 9, but usually, and this is all in the a.m., and also Pacific Standard Time, so along the West Coast. So if you are out in Europe, I think that puts it in the afternoon for you, which is good for COVID time watching. And if you are on the East Coast, that puts it around your lunchtime, so it's a good thing to watch with lunch, hopefully. And otherwise, catch it all on YouTube after the fact. This is an inter-Canadian battle, by the way, so it should be a very polite match. We'll see. That's the stereotype with Canadians. That's like the best stereotype to have amongst any nation, right? It's like, the only one I can think is better is like, oh, they're handsome people. Like, I don't know, who has that? Maybe the Swedes? 80s mullet out there in chat. Uh, probe getting a little blockaded while it's trying to make its way out to do some scouting. We do see Cybernetic score dropping down, so no cheese right off the bat. Mighty ceiling in his front door with the barracks. But I gotta say, like, being, like, nice. Being very, you know, polite. That's, that's a great reputation for a nation overall. So anyway. I appreciate you, Canadian brethren to the north, is I guess what I'm saying overall. SEV, checking out top and seeing that huge BSL on the sand. Factory opener. And I assume this is going to be... We'll see if it's one fact expands, but I think it's going to be more of a two fact build. Just because when you don't have a ramp you need, even if you're not going for that early pressure against your Protoss opponent, you need something on the ground, right? To kind of provide that additional support as you're trying to take additional bases. Here's the thing on this map, on Sylphid, with this configuration. While this does provide a little bit of defense it, initially, this is going to be a little bit hard to get out of as well with these two factories. So keep an eye on this with this Lurker Egg in the way. If any sort of units get caught in between here, Terran units are known for doing that. No Zealot produced just Dragoon initially. It looks like range is making its way across. That SEV snuck in and is now fleeing for its life, making its way out. Perhaps... Mighty realizes, like, you know what? I'm just probably going to go, yeah, op opting for two-factory opener. I'm going to see if he's going to go for that one-tank vulture push off the base. That's what we're looking I think we're looking at here, because we still have three SCV on gas. And Snipe, Laser Snipe, is getting his natural expansion, so might have some trouble fighting against this. This is kind of the ideal scenario when you're Terran and executing this build, what you want to be up against. Probe in position to go ahead and see it as it's coming out. We'll see... Here's one advantage is if you can move that probe up and see that barracks, sometimes you can see the additional marines being produced to know precisely what you're up against. Yeah, and so let's see if he wanders up and sees that glow. Cancelled, actually right there. Maybe because of that probe in position, doesn't want to reveal anything. Two factories up, so it's going to be three siege tanks and then probably vultures to follow with mines, etc. Only two dragoons being produced, three dragoons, no additional gateways on the ground. There is a robotics facility being uh, as well. And so from Laser Snipe's perspective right here, uh, does, doesn't get the scout, but does see that natural expansion building, which is has to be has to be happy to see that. Three tanks should be produced momentarily. Again, starting to build the Marines, and I'm almost wondering, is this a fake fake? Where he's just going to move the three siege tanks? No, going five siege tanks. It's going to be five siege tanks and some SCVs pushing the line with just a single Marine? 
This is a build order I have not seen executed thus far in BSL or otherwise. Second Marine being produced, so it's going to be a few Marines, not very many, and five siege tanks diving forward. And here's the thing, and pro I assume Vultures to follow this up. Second and third gateway being produced, but that is more tanks than our Dragoons out on the field for Laser Snipe right this second. So he's going to have a lot of trouble fighting this off. Yeah, and he's going to have the, the Vultures to follow this up. Interesting. So a little bit later, as far as the overall execution, also it's going to be, there's going to be a little bit of time, you know, while these units, oh, they actually shuffled through pretty well. Got an eye full of it, but this is a huge, and some SCVs coming off the line to engage this. Laser Snipe might even want to press forward to get some interruption. This is going to be, he's going to have five Dragoons, period, to deal with the five siege tanks. By the time this reaches his base, this might just be a straight build order loss. Let's see if the Observer can move up and provide a little bit of support. Yeah, I'm worried for Laser Snipe. Very, very worried. Plus, the Vultures are going to come sweeping back around, and I don't know that they're going to be able to hold this front door at all. Big Breach, and I'm wondering if... Yeah, and the Dragoons, honestly, are kind of floating behind. They're not fully engaged here. Vultures diving into this natural expansion. Laser Snipe, honestly, should just pull his probes back and let it be. Needs some mind drags. Needs some beautiful mind drags to make this happen. Gets it! Gets two siege tanks on the front! Loses a Dragoon on the ground, but that's exactly what... He's still in a bit of trouble here. And still needs to get more, honestly, more mind drags and more action to kind of even things up. But that was a big help. Losing probes on his front still. Okay, now pulling the, that probe line back. Still can't hold this. Some more Dragoons moving forward. Should be able to clear that first mine. Still want to, might want to do a second mine drag. Re-engaging more Vultures making their way forward. And unfortunately, I still think it's too much. Yeah, still too much. Three tanks pushing in with these two Vultures and getting mines on top of this gateway. That tends to be, for these sort of pushes, the touch of death. That next is certainly going to be taken out. Yeah, and you can see just the, the Dragoons just dying straight up to the mines. Observer trying to move out. But here's the thing, you spawn. Even if you, you spawn right there, you end up still flooding, uh, triggering the mines and ending up dying anyway. Nexus being microed against with these tanks. More reinforcements not coming across, though, for Mighty. He's going to go ahead and plop his natural expansion, feeling confident that these tanks are going to be able to wipe this Nexus off. And that Snipe is going to have, have a long ways before he can... Yeah. Economic damage done. Tanks proudly driving home. We'll be able to be repaired. And here's the thing. Mighty still has map control. He can go ahead and flood more... Let's see if he even... If he opts to, to take it. He's going to go ahead and push out. Plop a couple mines out in the field. Probably seal up a few things here and there. Laser Snipe's not out of the match, obviously. He still has three gateways and is producing a fourth. And honestly can... Maneuver and then... Uh... in. Not able to talk all of a sudden. Shuttle just kind of wandering out blithely. Getting that Nexus up. Still will be able to produce units here. Still going to be able to blockade this natural expansion, but here's the thing. Mighty continuing to produce a lot of siege tanks. And he's going to have siege check momentarily, and it looks like he's plopping down an additional factory. And he's going to have that natural expansion up. Yeah, there's just a lot going in Mighty's favor here. Obviously, whenever you take down a natural expansion of your Protoss opponent, you got to feel happy. 30 SCVs on the ground. I'm almost wondering if he's going to go for the 4th and 5th, or if he's just going to try to slow play it here, knowing that he's got kind of the long-term economic advantage. What I really want to see is one of these Vultures sneak up and go ahead and plant a mine at the 3rd from there. And I'm almost wondering with this amount of siege tanks, wow. Nine siege tanks on the ground. Lifting up that barracks. Let's see if he kills that lurker egg to go ahead and free up kind of the resupply lines. Only one SCV in gas currently at that natural, but I'm wondering if he's going to go for another assault with this amount of siege tanks. So that's nine siege tanks versus still six dragoons on the front. Although he does have a shuttle this time. Here's the thing though. Almighty has to do is not produce mine or just not plant mines. Not plant mines and just, yeah, just walk right in. He doesn't even need to siege this. Although, Snipe might get some free shots on the low ground. SCV's regathering. 
perhaps at risk of a contain. And unfortunately, Thief Mighty shoots his own mines here to clear this out. Because the one risk to him is just a beautiful Zealot Bomb. Yeah, not even sieging, walking forward. Let's see if there's a good mind drag from behind. This could be critical. Honestly, to save that would just be shoot, shoot your own mine. Sieging up for a bit of a contain. Siege tank's taking a little bit of damage, though. Does manage to get one tank with that. Nice disruption from Laser Snipe. Also has that Observer overhead to kind of get a good look at this wall. But now Mighty actually just kind of pressing forward slowly, going for a contain. These Dragoons are melting. Mighty putting on a clinic here of early game, just straight aggressive. That wasn't even a fake double. Just early push into your Protoss opponent. More Zealots looking for drops and bombs, but honestly, there's just nothing to drop and bomb. Yeah, and the Zealots dying before they're even able to get out there. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Mighty even needs to siege here. And there's enough Vultures where they, I think they can one-shot that Zealot as soon as it lands. And just look at all these mines on the front. He's not getting out of here. Try, at this stage, he's trying to Zealot Bomb to take out some Vultures on the front. And these Siege Tanks still taking out probes from that corner. Still fit a tough map. Yeah, I think this is going to be GG. Snipe down to 24 probes. He's at half the probe count of his Terran opponent, which is not the situation you want to be in. Does have an Observer back here. I mean, that's... <laughs> I'm trying to look for something positive for Snipe here, but it's not looking good. Probably going to lose this Nexus a second time. So I think what he's going to have to do, he has plopped down a bunch of additional gateways. Yeah, you just got to go all in and hope for the best. Maybe with some... Very lucky, yeah. And the lucky mind drags aren't happening because that was all the Dragoon. That's that's his army. I, I expect GG in a second here. As soon as the rest of these... Yeah, there's GG. So, Laser Snipe getting taken out by kind of an interesting build. I haven't seen that, that one thus far. Interesting timing build early with a lot of Siege Tanks on the front. I am... I, I will say this. So, I'm so glad to finally have a TVP to cast. It's been so much PvP and just no, yeah, variety is the spice of life, right guys? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. I'm gonna go ahead for the Twitch stream, gonna go ahead and get lunch. Hope you guys all have a great day. Be sure to take care of yourselves, drink water, get rest, keep the stress low. Thanks for listening.